I know I ain't done one of these in a minute. Cause I, you know, doing all the other content. Got good content on the channel, man. Check it out. But it's FSU, NC State. Got 1738 on deck. Ah, let's go. Number six. Undefeated Seminoles. Against the Wolf Pack. Thank you for tuning in, if you are tuning in. And I really thought that Clemson game was going to do more numbers, but I guess it didn't. Um, all the other games did pretty good numbers. Thanks for turning in, man. Tuning in. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and share. You know the deal. It's the Pope kind of know. And we in the Mike Norvell era. Ranked number six in the nation, undefeated, and uh, Heisman difficulty, six minutes a quarter, and we're going up it right now against the NC, uh, NC State, North Carolina State Wolf Pack. Just now discovering the channel, man. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're a Florida State fan, it don't make no. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Like I was saying, before NC State just gashed us. If you're a Florida State fan, man, it don't make no sense why you not subscribe. You're not a Florida State fan, but you like NCAA 14 content. Hit that like button. Comment, I like all you comment, and it. please subscribe to the channel, man. And it looks like right now we have no answer for NC State. So if you don't know, because it's been a while, I don't call the plays. I do ask coach, and I let the computer, or in this case, Adam Fuller, I allow him to call the plays. I just try to execute. As you can see, I ain't doing such a good job of executing right now. Um, same thing on offense. Don't call the plays. I allow the coach, you know, Bell, to call the plays. And I just try to execute. This is the 2020 roster for Florida State. Now, every other team is using their 2019 roster. Um, but Florida State, it is updated 2020 roster as of right now. Alright, let's see if we can answer on offense. <laughs> Let me take a sip. As you see, Chubba Purdy is the starter, and that boy's a beast. We started off the season with Jordan Travis. And yeah, that didn't quite go as planned. Um, but we're, good. we're in the Chubba Purdy era now. And, uh,. He's been, uh, he's been doing this thing. Uh, label one. Up the gut, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Got it. Once you establish that run game, everything else opens up. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll establish the run game early. And then, uh, that was Jay Sean Corbin right there. Interesting thing about Jay Sean, um, he's actually changing his number from number five to number zero. I don't think I've ever seen a college player wear zero. And Tamari Terry will be number five this upcoming season. So I think that's pretty cool. I, I, you know, I don't think I've seen a college player wear zero. Any, you know, in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. Any notable college players wear zero? Down. 
Got Ladarius Webb in the backfield. Uh. Who's open? Ooh, bad throw by me. Mm. Mm. Bad throw by me. All right, all right. Yeah, that was not good. Big hit. Big hit. And they've been gashing us, man. We gotta stop this run game. We gotta stop this run game. They've been bad. They've been gashing us. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Who's that? J Rob? That was J Rob with the strip. That's what it looks like. Yeah, Janoris Robinson with the strip. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's capitalize off of that. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. NC State's on NC State night game on the road. That's always a tough you if you're a Florida State fan, man, you know, like that's always a tough game, man. I don't know what it is about NC State on the road at night. It gives Florida State like nightmares. No different right now. Might hit Helton up. Yep. All right. Hit Keyshawn up. Ooh. Who is that man? Number forty one just went unblocked. Isaiah Moore. Jesus. Never had a chance right there. Room, baby. Let's pick the tempo up. Pick the tempo up a little bit. And uh, see if we can make something happen. Oh, 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 oh. First down, no, baby. I'll take a drink to that. Let's see what we got going on around college football. We just beat Clemson last game. And Clemson is in, in a... We're the only ones who we beat Pitt the first game of the season. And Pitt's un, been on a winning streak ever since. So that's a game we kind of watch out for, man. That's a game we kind of watch out for right there, man. We could see Pitt again in that ACC championship. Yeah, but let me not... Count the chickens before they hatch, as they say. Make sure we take care of business here in Riley, North Carolina. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. <laughs> there you go, defense. Marvin Emmett Rice on the stop. 
Look at that man got ten yards of carry on six carries. You gotta contain that running game. And I was right in the area. I should have had a pick right there. But I was looking at the other receiver. And basically just ran a quick slant right there and I didn't see it. That's his first pass of the game. Crazy. Oh, running the ups. Shit. Marvin Wilson with the shoestring tackle. Shout out to Big Marv. Taking a stand. Very impressed by that brother. Man, this dude, all he does is run. What has he got? Two passing attempts? She stays smart with it. The throw's not there immediately, man. They just take off and run with it. Look, see? Gotta get him to, gotta get him to fumble again. Jesus Christ. That's not how I don't want to blitz him. And man to man, that's not going to help either with a scrambling quarterback. So we're in a tough uh, situation. Now I think is the time. Uh, we'll throw a blitz at him. Look at that, 14 rushes, 2 passes. They're not even trying to throw the ball. So that's on me to stop this run game. When you got that scrambling quarterback like that, you know, that's tough to defend. And then a read option like that. Yeah. Uh, trying to get Nazardine to whap him. Oh my god. Who was that? He just ran right past the runner. Come on, man. Look at this. Uh, you see him celebrate? Get out of here. You can't even see it. I think it was 30. I don't know who it was, man. He just ran right past the damn ball carrier. Alright, offense. We gotta, we gotta answer. Ohio State in the Mountain Nation. Miami falls to Boston College. So that affects that Miami game. I was hoping Miami be undefeated. I think DJ Matthews is hurt. Uh, we got depth at receiver. I'm not too worried about DJ Matthews, to be quite honest with you guys. No, he's right there. Well, I guess he's not hurt. It took a while to get up after that return. Ooh. Newborn could have been hurt seriously on that play. Looked like he wasn't. Put a screen pass. Ain't called a screen pass yet, so this this should catch him off guard. Yeah, and I think they blitz. Uh, let's go, Jay Sean Corbin, baby. Uh. Let's go. They blitzed and they got caught with their pants down. One of the most effective plays against the blitz is the screen. If you don't know.
Ooh. I think they blitzed me again on that play. The linebacker, yeah. Offensive line really isn't very good. And, uh, but we're recruiting it. We're trying to get it up to par um, in real life and the game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, as you see there. Ooh, that's a pick. Oh, man. We got lucky. I thought the corner was going to follow the other receiver, and he didn't. You get a field goal lane. We're going to play it safe. And if it breaks, good. But I don't expect it to. Yeah, see, they kind of were prepared. Yeah, they kind of prepared. So we get in the middle of the field. We'll go for three. We'll go for three. All right. Gotta play some defense. Oh man, Clemson's pulling away. Look at Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Pitt's out of their league. I mean, well, yeah, Pitt's out of there. Clemson's out of Pitt's, Pitt's league, uh, league, obviously. Okay, defense gotta step up because we haven't been able to stop them except for that one fumble. Um, we gotta step up, man. We gotta step up. God dog it, they're killing us with the read option, man. They're crashing down on our back every single time. Come on, guys. That's some discipline. Look at this. Look at this. And in every throw play, the quarterback just ran. Look at the quarterback. He's killing us right now. I gotta put a spy. I need to make an adjustment and get a spy out there. Finally, Marv collapsed the pocket. Emmett Rice cleaned it up. That's called good linebacker play, good D, uh, D tackle play. But I think I'm gonna need a spy. Oh, all right, Kane, don't come on, man. Third and seven. Let's get a stop. Come on, let's get a stop. We can find it. It's called cover one. Jones, and I'm the quarterback spy. And they gave up a, come on, that's a, <clears throat> come on, man. You played that pretty well. Quarterback's killing us. He's making plays when he needs to, but there's you're not getting forced into any. What? A, Durden looked like he had that. Oh man, Clemson's pulling away. Third and looked like he read that perfectly. Cooper, love it. We got all the backups in right here. Man, defensive line's gas. I think that love it right there. The Mississippi State transfer. Look like he collapsed that pocket beautifully. Or extended the run, so. I mean, you guys saw it. Screen. Come on, Cooper. Big Coop. Let's go. <sighs> well, I'm going to score if we go home to this field. I'm going to blitz. I'm going to blitz. Oh. See, the dude can't throw. You force him into a tough throw. You see all that lame ducky threw out there. Kind of got lucky because Buddy was wide open. Um, but we got lucky. We kicked off, so we score here. Tie the game up, get the ball at halftime. We're in a good position. We're in a good position. We're in a good position before halftime right now. Despite not playing well, we're in a good position. 
Ja'Kai Douglas on the return. Curls. I want to hit one of the receivers or, excuse me, the corners are playing off. I'm going to try to hit Jordan Young. Nah, wasn't happy with that. They were playing a, a soft zone, so I would have a pick. That was a safe throw. Three yards. And, uh, ooh. 76. Who is 76? Is that Darius Washington? He almost gave one up, man. Look at these plays, man. I, oh, I always say this every time I play. I'm not a fan of the Arizona State playbook. So the reason I play with the Arizona State playbook, this is 2014, obviously. I haven't released a college game since. And um, in 2014, Co Coach Norvell was the offensive coordinator for the Arizona State Sun Devils. So this playbook resembles his offense so that's why I use the Arizona State offense not a fan of it not a fan of it on this game I think in real life I think you're going to see a pretty potent and effective offense probably everything we thought the Willie Taggart offense was supposed to be I just realized the clock I really just started I, I just realized the clock I gotta pay attention to that clock. I just re remember. All right, Layborn. You got blocks out there. Oh, man. Yeah, let's call timeout. You can burn a timeout. We're gonna run it. We're going for the run. Because we'll pick the first down up and the clock will stop. I'm not too worried. Right, let's go to Danian Whip. Let's, let's go. Breaking the tackles. The Damien Webb. The clock stops. You can run the no huddle. That's perfect. See, good call. Good call by Norvell. Alright, we're on Thompson. I'm not going to burn one yet. I'm not going to burn one yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. See, I'm not going to burn yet. We waste a little bit more time than I want it, but we're in good position. Got, probably got a chance to play two plays. I can call two plays right here. And, uh... Then call the timeout. They gotta be end zone shots though. Or something to the to the outside. Ah, oh, touchdown. Let's go, Chubba. Chubba! That's good managing of the clock and everything right there. It's good stuff. Hey, let me know in the comments, guys. I mean, if you're watching the video, let me know what's, what'll make this what'll make this series better. Um, I was doing pretty solid numbers for my channel, obviously. I'm not the biggest channel in the world, but I always appreciate you guys. And I tell you guys, I appreciate you guys, the ones who follow me on a regular basis and support it. Um, what do you think, guys, can make this channel better, one? And what can make this series better? Because all the other videos like this that I've done have done pretty good, but that Clemson game only did 30-something views, and I think that was, I was expecting in the hundreds. Like my other videos. I don't know. People weren't interested in seeing me play Clemson. I, I thought that would be one of the bigger games, quite honestly, and it wasn't. So, you know, any kind of constructive criticism or recommendations is definitely, you know, I got thick skin, man. So it is def it's definitely welcome. 
and trolls. I don't pay attention to you guys anyway. So, but any kind of constructive criticism, please. Are the videos too long? You think that's what it is? So, but I don't like cutting stuff out the game. You know, I like showing. I like showing everything. I like showing. Because, you know, people can edit games and make it look like they're really good at the game. I like showing the whole full game. So, I don't know. Let me know. In the, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Chaba has not had to really utilize his legs so far this game. And as soon as I say that, I'm going to bring it to the outside. I'm trying to bring it to the outside, man. And nothing but green over there. Um, that's a pretty solid run blocking on that play. Try to go Matthews deep on this play. Let's go. Warren Thompson. Now that's accuracy because that was that corner was in position. An errant throw and that's an interception. And what I wanted wasn't open. Look at, Chubba, look at that numbers, man. Chubba pretty putting up numbers. Yeah, that one bad throw, but putting up numbers, man. FSU is running back by committee, if you haven't noticed. Laybourne, Webb, Corbin, they all pretty much split the carries. As you see, last kick, there's Corbin in the game now. The last one was Laybourne. You might get, you know, you might get Webb this one. I got it set up, so with FSU rotates running backs. Because that's what I think will resemble the actual I think what you're gonna see this season guys is is you're gonna see a lot of a lot of different running backs. And I think you're gonna see a lot of talented guys. I do. I think you're gonna see a lot of talented running backs. Norville's known for using multiple running backs in different ways. I think you're gonna see that this season. I think you're going to see it. But pocket broke down. Routes took too long to develop. Yeah, not a good one right there. Don't know how 52 ended up with the ball, but okay. Let's run the ball and then try to get a manageable third down. Third and 17. I'm not. Let's try to. I don't know. Let's try to get 10 yards here. We did. We, we pretty much got yeah, seven yards works. Seven yards works. Good run. And look at these stolen plays, guys. I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling any of these. Let's go with the flanker dig. Let's go with the flanker dig, and we'll try to hit Terry right past the chains. See that? We'll try to hit Tamari on. T nope, I'm going Helton. It just looked like the better play. Fourth and two. We got a decision to make. Actually, I don't have it. Norvell has it. Whatever he says we're going to do, and we're going field goal. All right, so that was a solid opening drive to the half. Really wanted a touchdown there. Ah, I thought Terry, I probably should have. I didn't, I was, that offensive line, I wasn't confident they'd, Hold long enough for tomorrow on Terry to complete the route. Clemson's killing pit in a game that I thought might be competitive. <laughs> All right, defense. <clears throat> It makes me actually wish I would have started this see this 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 content this series a little later, man. With the pickup of J of Jerry uh, Jerry and Jones, J Dub, man, I could have added him in this on the roster. Um, and just so you know, if you haven't been following the series, and this 
might be the first video you stumbled on. I, I, I built the roster accurately. At least I believe so. Like, I didn't make Chubba Purdy like a nine, excuse me, like a 99. He was like a 79 overall. You know, I didn't boost any, like, the best player on the team is Marv. Marv has a legit 99 ranking because I believe Marvin Wilson is a top 10 NFL pick and the best de de defensive tackle in college football. Prove me otherwise, I don't really think you can. And other than that, I think we only had two other 90 players in the 90s. Um, one being Tamari on Terry. Again, I don't think anybody would disagree on that. The only one that you, people would probably disagree on is Hampson Nazardine. But I think Nazardine's a board around first round pick at that safety position. He comes back healthy this year. I think you're going to see an Isaiah Simmons type of player. I do. I think Nazardine's a beast. And he's going to add to the long list of FSU great DBs. I think he'll be in the first. I think he'll, he'll be there with Derwin James and stuff like that, you know? Like Hampson Nazardine a lot. Last year, by the end of last year, that dude was playing amazing football. Ooh, there we go. Finally, man, look at the quarterback's killing us on the ground. Not so much through the air, though. There's a spy play right there, but it's with a lineman. I don't know. We'll go cover two. So Hold on, folks. Somebody woke up. So we had to go get him. Sante! Oh, you gotta make that tackle, man. Hey, go back to sleep. Good thing we held him. We held him to the field goal, though. Just, just, this is a close game, guys. This boy is spoiled. Spoiled Seminoles. He loves his daddy. Oh! Chubba just completely ran over a dude like he wasn't even there, man. I'm telling you, you guys did not see that. Oh, we'll play by the defense. It's only hair getting on. Let's try, we're going to do another read option. Fourth quarter, by the way. Feeling them, man. 
But maybe that's what Norvell is. Somebody answer me that. And I mean, I have a pretty good idea of what Norvell likes to do. But what do you guys think? You think he's more run oriented, or you know, more throw, more pass oriented? Maybe if I shut up for two seconds, you actually fall back asleep. <laughs> I gotta got get the ball in the hands of Terry, but they are. Look at that. They are. Oh, man. They are. Really hunkering down on these short to intermediate routes. Uh, let me try to stretch the. I might have to try to stretch the defense, man. Oh, he broke that one for a second. Good route. Good throw. Good catch. That was everything good there. But yeah. Oh, my God. Pittsburgh's getting molly walk 42 to 13. Part of me's not too surprised. But I was more surprised to see that they've only lost to us. But, yeah, that one. Looks like it is over. Jordan Young did a throw like, oh, you dropped? That would have been a great catch. Come on, homie. All right, it's all good. It's all good. We need a touchdown here. I don't even trust it. That's bad. Ooh, but we got it. The freshman, true freshman. What a tremendous catch. I did not. You know, look at that. Chubba gets hit. Uh, and he drops up. Time in the middle. Excuse me, on the sideline. That was a tremendous throw and catch right there. Let's have Jay Sean Corbin clean this up and get this touchdown. Ugh. It's okay. The longer it takes to score, the better. The less clock you can give these guys, the better. Let's go read. And Purdy strolls in for the touchdown. Zero to UCLA, who's unranked. Can y'all hear me? And I keep waking him up. <laughs> I know he's like, I'm trying to sleep. Well, you should have woke up soon. You gotta talk to the people, baby. Marv. Marv's having a solid game. He's having one of his better games of the season. Chasing down running backs and whatnot. Sort of filling the holes. Alright, this could uh third and two stop right here is pivotal. Did you would they go for they probably would go? <gasps> Excuse me. They'll probably go for it. Look at that. Good tackle. Lars Woodbeck with the tackle. Yes, sir. Oh, they're not going for it. 
So they're going to count on their defense to get a stop for him. They're going to try to count on that defense to get a stop for him. Well, DJ's about to take this one. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. <laughs> Alabama and Tennessee, you know. Close match up there. All right, so there's no reason. We got the lead, so there's no reason to rush anything. We're going to run the ball and see where it gets us. Because there's flat out no reason. Burn, make them burn them timeouts. Um, there is no reason to rush. NT dang. And of course they give me a bunch of BS plays that I don't like. Well, we'll go power O. And uh, label. We'll get the carry. Ugh, let's go. Get the outside. Ugh, let's go. Ugh, let's go. First. Hey, 30 inches. I'll take it. I'll take it, baby. question well again I don't make the decisions but in a case like this in real life I think you might go for this I mean granted the team has less than two minutes with no timeouts if you punt get a good reliable like effective punter you could put them in a situation where they have to go the whole field in two minutes but fourth in a yard to ice the game I would argue going for it i really would obviously i'm gonna do what the ass coach tells me to do but i think in a real life situation this would be key i mean it's it's still on your side of the field so i could understand the punting but man it's close to the 50 yard line and you're up a touchdown the team has no timeouts even if you don't get it like they have to score i you know it's that's why you pay coaches a million dollars to make those type of decisions, you feel me? I, no. That would show, I think, the kind of coach that might know, like, if this was a real life situation, I think you'd see those type of, like, that kind of, like, like, cause, like if you're an FSU fan, whoo, and you've been watching Florida State football for a while, like, we all know in that situation what Jimbo Fisher would have done. Right, Tagger in that situation. We have not only do we not know what Tagger would have done in that situation. I don't think Tagger knows what he would have did in that situation. Um, ooh, man, how did he get so wide open? I was in a man defense right there. So you know, who was sticking that dude, man? That's crazy. I was in man coverage. Uh, Miko Dotson, baby, seals the game. And he takes this to the quarterback random now. What a play by Miko. And that's it. We pulled it out. We pulled it out, Miko Dotson. Who on my roster does start? Uh, yeah, Miko Dotson. And Damian Webb with the carry. Probably need to get that dude more carries, man. Only had two on the game. Yeah, we're going like, to finish the game with Webb here. <sighs> I mean, I could just, you know. It's... Look, my excuse is it's the BCS era in this game. We need all the points we can get. I'm not going to throw the ball, but we're going to try to run it down the throat. Win by two scores. Plus, it's, I'm trying to get my rushing yards and get all my get all my backs, you know, solid t statistics. Get all my backs some carries.
don't want anybody like transferring out. Let Jay Sean finish it up. Number 41 again was not blocked. That's okay. We'll kick the field goal. Let's go. 10 point win in Raleigh, North Carolina. Clemson, look at Lawrence through five. Clemson blew the doors off of Pitt. And that's it. Purdy, three touchdowns. He had a turnover. We're going to check the stats, though. That's what we do. Check the stats, and we'll let y'all go. Thank y'all for tuning in. I think I'm making him mad because he still isn't back asleep. But he's trying, and I keep waking him up. Okay. Check these stats real quick, folks. Check these stats. Purdy, 80% completion percentage, 245 yards, two touchdowns, had a pick, got sacked three times. Not a lot of, I mean, as a collective unit, we rushed for over 100 yards. But no one really had a huge game here. Corbin with 31 yards, only had two. Like, Webb and Laybourne were the most effective runners. Together, they run for what? What's that? 78 yards at 31, 17. So, there you go. A lot of different people caught passes here. And, uh, okay, decent stats. And then defensively, Nazaldine, he had five tackles in the first quarter. It seemed like they avoided him. And of course, Miko Dawson finishes off with interception. No sacks. I don't think. Yeah, well, I don't think we sacked. He was too elusive. We didn't sack the quarterback once. All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy Polk, and I'm out, ya. Subscribe to the channel if you're just watching this. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Next game going to come at you sooner than later, I promise you. And, uh, man, hit that like button. I'm out. Thank you guys for tuning in.